presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kicking up to the 4th of July. Gonna love it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 120, NASDAQ off 101, S&P's off 19, gold contract trading down $6.10 at $18.24 an ounce. You got silver, flat, $21.15 an ounce, platinum. Down a buck and a half at 901 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 82, $109.44 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading 116.26. The 30 year off 25 ticks at 116. No. The 30 year off 25 ticks at 135.08. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 225 ticks, trading 103.958. Euro is at 105, yen is at 135.43, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what you have out here is that on Friday, Friday was a big day. I had a good day. You had a rebalancing of the small caps. You know, and what that specifically means, folks, is that you have some small caps that were small caps that turned into, you know, large caps, uh, other large caps that uh, are small caps now. And the bottom line is that you got volume in the market. That's how it shakes out. You see the SPY? The SPY, we did uh, 98 million shares, okay? You know, you still went down with 132, but the way this works is that it depends. It's how you're going forward. That, that's the that's real bottom line. We got, market, we got volume in the market. That sets up, you know, well, first off, it sets up. In order to negate that volume, you'd have to get over it and close underneath it, and that's what we're probably going to do today. That being said, I expect that you're still going to see this run get up to this 40144. That's where the gap is. There's a free gap play on the way down. That's the top of the gap, so it'll get somewhere into that level. We're going to take a look at the uh, NDX100, the three Qs. Now, the three Qs, here's where divergence comes in. The three Qs didn't get volume. Now, the, the, the composite got volume. When you see the, the, the composite, I mean, you talk about volume was insane. So when you take a look at the three Qs, bottom line, you, you did 58 million shares, then that's not even close. We did 67 million shares on that uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday. Uh, bottom line, that being said, I expect we still see, will see that go into the 299 area. And if we take a look at this volume, you'll see this on the NYSE, on Friday, you can see we did 3.2 billion. Okay, now watch this one. This is intense, man. And the composite, 9.42 billion, folks, okay? So the way this works, just so you can understand like how this works, this is the, when you have a rebalancing, it's the one time, this happens at least four or five times a year in different indices, but it's the time that the actual larger funds can get out and get in without dislocating price in a big way. And you can see inside the NASDAQ composite, they did it in spades. 
and spades. And more than likely what happened with the composite also is that you probably had some uh, middle caps that end up into uh, small caps. You know, that, that's what it looks like. Because, yeah, you don't see uh, that 9.2 uh, billion uh, too often inside the marketplace. Gold. Gold contract is still having a tough time catching a bid. If you are in the gold market, you probably heard over the weekend that, yeah, the, you know, Russian gold can't be sold now. The thing that's amazing about that story, folks, okay, Russian gold hasn't been able to sell since the sanctions went on it so it's like that i'm hearing this yapping all weekend long it's like okay give me a break okay it hasn't happened since then now they may have formalized it at the you know uh the exchange the london bullion exchange but the bottom line it hasn't been happening you can see that yeah it hasn't done a thing what we've had in the gold market is that it continues to reject lower price but it hasn't got a sign of strength and more than likely, this is what it's all about. It's that good old U.S. dollar. Because when you take a look at the U.S. dollar, the bottom line inside the dollar is that, you know, this is hanging at highs. You know, the, high, the, high, the benchmark high that you want to keep your eye on in the dollar is the first high. is the 105.005. You know, we took that out uh, about a week ago. Uh, it was a one-day wonder. Then we came down hard. Going sideways, you know, this rejected lower price again today, this thing's not over. That's my take inside that good old U.S. dollar. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And you got, we got AMC up $1.67. Uh, well, you know what's going to be interesting is that um, the um, Top Gun. Top Gun uh, just did over a billion dollars, and that's one of the biggest plays for Paramount since, uh, let me see, this is on the, this, it's like, it's a long time, man. It's 2000, where are you? Let me get this quick. I'll get it for you, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's a long time. It's uh, many, many years. <laughs> uh, but evidently, they, they, have, they have some action going for them. We got Amazon down 295. You got uh, NVIDIA off 195. We got uh, Robinhood. Robin Hood, check this out. Robin Hood's trading $9, $9.19. That has absolutely got smoked. Uh, Occidental's up a buck uh, 40. We have uh, Exxon Mobil up 227. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, how this whole week shakes out. But most times, folks, this is a positive week. Uh, you're coming into the July 4th weekend, and uh, you got plenty of people that are on vacation. Uh, we just had a nice downdraft. There's no doubt that this can build costs for a bit, a bounce with some light volume, and see where the whole thing shakes out. We go take a look at Apple. Apple is trying to push out as much as they can, public relations-wise, that, oh, they're coming out with, you know, miracles. <laughs> Bottom line is not helping them too much. You know, Apple come off this low of uh, 129. You're trading 141 right now. That being said, now this is what's going to be so cool, folks. When, the, when you have the indices, speculating that that's where the gap's going to go. Apple's done it today. Apple got up to its bottom gap, 142.53. We hit 143.49. Now, if this can't hold it, that this is, this is how you pick a market apart. This is when you're going to say, oh, I see. Because if Apple can't hold it, guess what, man? As the indices get up there, your probability goes much higher. You're not going to be able to hold it. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Dow. Dow Industrials right now, trading lower. NASDAQ. Off a bit, SP's down eight. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 43. We get the NASDAQ off 64. S&P's down 8.5. Let's get over our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. With the newsletters, you're going to see it on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is the savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So come over, check it out. Steve's got a lot of great archives on there. You can really get to understand how Steve looks at the market each and every trading day. Steve Rhodes, I know. Condol condolences. I know, man. <laughs> you, you, know it's, you know it's amazing when you think, you got to feel for anyone that, you know, particularly what happens, folks, in hockey is that the playoffs are forever. The playoffs are almost like half the season, right? Did and, it really, yes. And, and you go down, you know, first, of course, you know, it, it's the three out of five, then it's four out of seven. And the bottom line is that you, you know, go two to one. I know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Always looking for game seven. It was hopeful. Yeah. Because you know, that great, great game in Colorado, you know, yep. a couple nights ago. And uh, and then we got off to that great start, start with Stamkos, uh, I know. you know, pumping, pumping in the goal. Yeah. And uh, but it, it, but it's great. I mean, it was know, a great camp, game. There's no doubt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And a good series. And, yep. you know, the, the crowds outside of the stadium. Right. Are, are are just amazing these days. So isn't it? Uh, it's, yeah. it's really cool what's happening. No, I'm I'm with you, man. I mean, it's it's really cool. There's no doubt, man. There's no yeah, doubt. Yeah, yeah. So so now now I'd have to say summer actually officially kicks in. There's nothing to watch <laughs> other you know sports on TV. Baseball. I I, I typically don't watch a baseball until you get to playoff time. It's so too it's long. September, October, right. There's, there's, yeah. no, there's no doubt. You know, yeah. I like going to ball games. You know, yeah. periodically right. I'll go catch a ball game or what have you. Yeah. But uh, you know, sports and then the PGA tour is being ripped apart. So that's yeah. Yeah. You, know, that's, I, I, you know, as, as older people, I'm not much of a streamer yeah. out there, so I'm not going to go stream to watch the uh, this LIB uh, golf right. stuff, and I don't think they're going to get much in the way of television. So, right. so it's just going to have to be uh, uh, the beach and stock market. So that's right. um, let's catch, let's catch know, some fish, man. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So last okay, Tuesday, let's take a look. Last Tuesday, yeah, we yep. came back from a holiday and uh, and had a uh, it was a great session, and that session. Um, the way that I take a look at things uh, confirmed uh, A to B equals CD patterns for most of the U.S. indices. 
And uh, so give me a second here. Where we go. And uh, the only uh, primary indice that did not complete an A to B equals CD to downside was the Russell 2000. Okay. It it went ahead and uh, formed what I refer to as a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Bottom. So we take a look at these six primary indices, the Dow, which is in the upper left, the S&P, the NDX 100, the Russell, the Semis, and the New York Stock Exchange, all formed by the D-point patterns. That was on last Tuesday. Okay. Do you have your, chart, do you have your charts up? I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, shoot. I, I thought I did. Oh, that's my all right. Apology. Al, does, yeah. do you have a shots? No, 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 P didn't. That was okay. my fault. So that's uh, okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so here, here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you guys can see them right now. So here are the six panels with the A to B equals C D patterns for the primary indices. The one on the lower left, the Russell. You can see never made its uh, full extension out there. But I that see. Yeah. That it did bottom. Okay. Because what it bottomed with is so my my tools automatically draw in these diagonal lines. These diagonal lines are part of the Rosemontum indicator system, as you mentioned. Uh, uh, subscribers have an archive that shows them exactly how this pattern works. That way they can do it on their own for the uh, stocks that they follow out here. And it's really a, a great uh, tool. So we've got the bottom inside the Russell 2000. And speaking of Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom patterns, these are the weekly charts for the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ 100, Tom. And interestingly enough, the price action on Friday, so Tuesday to Friday, but Friday's price action actually confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottoms for the uh, weekly time frame. And the way that my patterns get confirmed, whether it's at, at tops, I look for bearish reversal candles. Yes. At bottoms, I look for bullish reversal candles. It's really simple. And it really boils down, Tom, to uh, six different bullish reversal candles. And if you can learn those, the exact opposite of the bearish reversal candles. So I teach folks that as well. So that's another archive inside the uh, Mastering Probability a new, uh, 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 videos out there. Yes. So we've got confirmed bottoms on a weekly time frame. This also, by the way, confirmed weekly by the D-point patterns or Gartley buy patterns out here because of that bullish reversal candle that formed last week for the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ 100. And uh, with regard to the Rhodes Mintum indicator tops, even though we have those at the bottoms here, those black diagonal lines followed by the bullish reversal candle, if we take a look at what took place up at the top, at the highs out here, it was the exact opposite. It was the Rose Mintum indicator topping signal. Nice. And again, you'll see the bearish reversal candles out there. So, yeah. folks, so what I want people to understand is I don't draw these lines in here. It's part of the automated system. It, it, it follows my very specific rules and tools out there. So there's nothing here that is left for for to be subjective, so to speak. It's just a, it's it, it's just the pattern. Now, in this case here, Tom. What price should do, it should go target this little red, the little red green squiggly line. Okay, out there. I see that. Yep. That that could, and we, we can see how this has really acted as resistance. Right. All the way down. Now you know, intercession. So intra week price might spike through it, but it's really all about the end of the week, the close out there. And we can see how this has acted as resistance. So, what price should do is head up to those levels. That's where the counter trend move should end, in that general area. If price closes above that level, then we may have something else that's going on, or at least a further counter trend move. So we know very clearly what to be watching for, what to How uh, cool is that, right? I know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Totally. It, it, yeah. And what I want people to understand is this, this Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, especially for a weekly time frame, there aren't that many of them that form out there. Right. Now, this is the Dow, and I take this chart back all the way to 1896. So last Friday's Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom is only the third one since the 2009 bottom. And so I've got that uh, in the lower left is the 2009 bottom. Yeah. And then we've got the uh, one that came in in uh, 2016. If we take a look back even further, in 2002... The Dow bottom. This is on the lower left-hand side. Yes. With the Rhodes Mintum indicator. Now, what I don't want people to think is that this pat this pattern never fails. All patterns eventually fail. And here, this little blue arrow on the right-hand side during the during the move down from the 2000. 7 to 2009 lows, we did get one failure of this uh, pattern out there. But the final bottom that formed on a weekly basis was a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal out here. 1982, kind of lower left out here, that formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. 1974, and I'm not cherry picking these, I'm just going back right. in time. You know, to look for these, and that that way, folks can understand uh, the 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 relevance of this pattern. You know, they can test drive the newsletters for 29 days. Doesn't cost me anything. You've got a Tiger Dollar promotion going on, so that makes it easy. Here's the 1957 Dow bottom. So the weekly 
Rosemont dominicator bottoms don't happen that uh, often, but when they do happen, we typically get that move, and that move should take us up to the oscillator and change line. So for the Dow, folks, I'm looking for a move to around the 32,100 level, the S&P 4,022, and the NASDAQ 112,301. So that's what my tools are, are telling us out here, and I expected, and when you and I, I think, maybe talked a, a while back, I'm expecting a two- to three-week rally. And that's what these uh, these black diagonal out here, they show that we have, uh, this is during the 2007-2009 bottom. We had several two to three week counter trend rallies. And that's what I expect is going to take place you this know, time. And you know what's so cool, man? What's so cool is that it's been so effective. So yes. if it fails, yes. get out of the way. If it fails, exactly. folks. Oh, that's for sure. That's <laughs> totally. for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> have a great one, Steve. Have Thank a safe you, one. Bro. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thanks. Bro. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector, as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 58. NASDAQ is off uh, 78. S&P is off 11. Basically, it's almost a sideways market out here. But it did get over the highs of Friday. Probably is going to close underneath them. As you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, we are going to be doing, uh, for this week only, our Tiger Dollar Sale. So it's the July 4th Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, the way this works, you can get up to a 40% bonus. This is going to end on July 5th when we come back to work. Uh, bottom line is that the way it works is that you can purchase 500 Tiger Dollars and you're going to get 600, which is a 20% bonus. If you pick, purchase 1,000, you can get a 30% bonus or 1,300. And the max is you can purchase 1,500 in Tiger Dollars and you get an additional $600, which is a 40% bonus. Tiger Dollars are good on all product at TFNN. They're totally transferable. And uh, bottom line, they have no expiration date. So check it out. You have this week in order to uh, basically uh, save some bread. Market-wise out here, uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, this baby uh, is 
I suspect it will just move on up uh, into the, um, you know, the gap um, at this point. Let's go to Robin Hood because what's going on, uh, there's a, uh, let's see, what here we got? Uh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay, let's see. We'll go. Let's go to Garrow. Garrow first. Garrow, Newport, in New, Newport Beach. Garrow, what's going on? How you doing, man? <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Thank you so much. Thank you for asking, sir. Absolutely. Um, I need your needed your opinion regarding ERX. Is there any room to go higher, and or uh, or should shouldn't I get into it right now or wait for uh, further later on? Let's take a look. at So the ERX, folks, is the direction two times energy bull uh, inside of this. You know, we're talking about the um, Exxon, Williams, Valero is a, is, a, is a good mix here. OK, so what you have inside here is that, you know, you basically have um, producers, you have the um, distributors, you have the uh, Occidental Phillips Marathon Marathon and that's that's okay so we get some action here um, okay so let's take a look at this yeah let me just look at some I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from here to the XLE not that the XLE is the same thing as this Garrow it's not yes but yes. yeah I wouldn't be buying the the RX I wouldn't be buying it because it looks to me I mean we're gonna get a it looks to me like this is going to be a counter trend bounce. You know, I mean, this came down hard. There's no doubt. I can see why, you know, you come down from 80 bucks. You hit a low of 44 uh, last Thursday. Um, you know, can this, you know, yeah, I mean, the rest of this week, I suspect, is going to be up. So, you know, yeah, I think this will go higher. It can go to 59. The yeah, Arid can. That's nine points. I get that, but it's still a double. Um, yes, yes. It's a little dangerous, man. You know, because I think the way that this is, meaning the oil market in general, Garrow, is yes. it looks to me that it's not going to make that 147. Um, you know, we're at 109.53 today. Let's just look at this. And right. 263,000 contracts. <coughs> yeah, you got, you're, you're contracting. You know, I mean, Oil does look like it's going to go back up to like 114 or something, but you're contracting. Right now, you're going into 426,000 contracts with 263. That's never a good thing, you know. But th right. Should, should I get in today? No, I wouldn't buy it, period. I wouldn't oh, buy it. Nothing. I, I, no, nothing. When you're trading a counter trend bounce, it's very dangerous. I see, I see. And that's what that actually is. Now, yes, granted, I, I said that, yeah, it can go nine points higher. But my take is that we're in a bear market. And in a bear market, what ends up happening, all the surprises are to the downside. So, Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay, Gary. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Enjoy beautiful Bye. Newport Beach. I love it. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, bottom line, oh, what did I just do? Uh, Okay, the if we get over and we take a look at uh, let's take a look at a couple of the oh I know Robin Hood that's what it is. so check this out Rand this is going to be wild watching this folks because what you have here is let's see so Robin Hood oh that's why it's trading up a a buck twenty two so look at this the the dude that has basically he's been bankrolling everyone inside of the crypto business, Sam Bankfield Fried, uh, Freed rather, uh, is exploring whether it might, he might be able to acquire Robinhood according to people with knowledge of the matter. FTX is um, deliberating internally how to buy the app-based brokerage. One of the people said, I should not be identified because the matter isn't public. Robinhood hasn't received a formal takeover from F. AFTX, another person said, no final decision has been. The thing that's amazing here, so picture this, folks. You, you've seen, you know, this guy, there's no doubt, he figured something out. And uh, the amount of bread that he has is huge. Um, he's been lending money to all these other crypto um, platforms. Now, but he's been lending money and to, as to the point of he's probably owed a fortune. <laughs> he's lending a fortune. Now, on top of that, this is the thing that is, is wild. 
On top of that, my take, he's never going to be able to buy Robinhood. The reason being is that Robinhood is a regulated market by the SEC as well as the NASDAQ, right? Well, the bottom line is that the SEC has sent this guy a dozen letters that, hey, man, you know, crypto in general, tokens in general, all of that whole deal, you know, that's off the table. Um, that being said, the SEC hasn't been able to nail anyone. But I don't see what ends up happening is pretty extensive what you got to go through in order to own a broker dealer. Um, I just don't see that happening, you know, so... We'll see where the rest of this thing shakes out, but I suspect, uh, you know, the thing's moving quick. There's no doubt, and it's it's moved a lot quicker than the SEC always moves slow. That's the real bottom line. But in this particular case, uh, I, I just don't see it happening, you know, because what what you do have, I, I can picture why he wants it. There's no doubt about that. What he wants it is that you know, um, then he'll probably go above board. Not that he's not above board. It's just it's it's against these tokens. Bottom line. So here's the fight. The fight is the F SEC are saying that tokens are a security. The folks that are putting the tokens out say, no, 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 it's not a security. You know, we'll find out where this goes. Most times, though, the SEC is going to win. Um, and unfortunately, you can see the, the aspect of um, how, even at this particular point, that what has happened with the um, the tokens in general, they're probably all going to be worth zero before the SEC gets around to getting anyone uh, in court. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, man? Hey, how are you, Tommy? I'm doing great, okay. man. You see yourself? Yeah, fine, fine. Thank you. Good. Summer is here. I know. That's good. I'm glad you got a nice summer up there. That's beautiful. Yep. Yep. Doing well. Good. So, yeah, that, that crypto stuff, boy, I look at it like it's tulip bulbs, you know? It is. I, I'm telling you, it is tulip bulbs. <sighs> you know what, folks, what you want to do, i got to get the guy's name because I brought, it, I brought it up in the show maybe a month ago. Tommy brought it up at the same time. One of the big guys in the crypto, he explained the bottom line is that you have to sell this to someone else, that that is that type of Ponzi deal, man. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. so if one of the biggest guys is explaining that, that kind of says it. Hey, Frank, stay yeah, right there. We get a quick. Articles. Those are great. Yeah, we get a quick break. We're going to be coming back. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man Frank from Gloucester. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 119. Nasdaq is off 109. S&P is off 19 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, down 85. Nasdaq's off 93. S&Ps are off 15. We're talking with our man Frank from Gloucester, and we're going to be talking about the TBT, uh, which is the uh, direction, folks. Uh, well, actually, the pro share. That is the pro share, uh, a 200% um, shot position inside the 20-year treasuries. So what are we doing with this, Frank? Well, I've been in it for quite a while, Tom, and, uh, you know, I'm looking at the TLT because I know you're going to want to look at that chart yep. to evaluate it. And uh, that's in, been in such a strict downtrend since the beginning of September. Uh, but, you know, this is a double, and you always talk about doubles as, you know, being right. daily trading vehicles or you know, not staying in them too long. I'm tempted to stay in this for a while longer. <laughs> What happens is this, is that as, if, if we keep going back and forth, which I think we would, I mean, interest rates went up dramatically, right? Really quick. Now, you know, bottom line, the real question is going to be is that, okay, are we going that path again? Which we very well could be. I mean, that's the bottom line. We only, we only went, basically went down on rates for like five days, okay? Yeah, um, yeah right. And so the way those doubles and triples go, Frank, is that, as long as the trend is strong, that's different. But if we go back and forth, both the bull and the bear lose. So, you know, um, I'd, I think you get about three or four more days. I mean, if you take it now, is, is it a taxable account or a non-taxable account? Is this, no, it's non-taxable. Well, then I'd take some money. <laughs> because okay. yeah. you can have a shot here. Do you know what I'm saying? It's. I think yeah. rates are going to go a lot higher. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Right. Um, sure. You know. But the bottom line is that the way this should operate, um, I think we're going to be up the rest of the week, and you know, you know the bonds are light today, meaning. Oh. But yeah, we're going so to July Fourth, and there's no one. Have you kind of crazy? Is it better to just short the TLT? I mean, it's not double, but it is. It is. On a longer base than it is. That's exactly right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you're not losing back and forth. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Okay. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Now, folks, we got a real treat for you. We got our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstat. And, folks, we now are going to have, you're going to love this. Teddy's been on with us for, oh, my God, it's years now. Uh, the Tiger Forex Report by our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstat. Okay, this is kicking off. Today, uh, bottom line, you know, if you haven't heard Teddy, uh, he's on Tommy's show every morning. Amazing guy, bottom line. Uh, been with the CBOE. He was down there for 20 years. Uh, you know, he, uh, let's see, he, he's getting graduated from DePaul University, degree in finance. What's not down, oh yeah, and he wrote a great book, the author of the High Probability Japanese Candlestick Patterns. But what's not on here, man, he's a great hockey player, man. Teddy case that. <laughs> What's going on? Why, why didn't you put that on there? Oh, well, college hockey is not exactly the biggest achievement in life. Well, right? for us it is. For us it is. I so like. I feel bad for Tampa. I was actually rooting for them to get the three-peat. I really wanted to I see know, them do it. I know, man. You know, when I was just talking with Steve Rose, you know what's just amazing is that you go through so many games, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, just, you know, two to one. Two to one, two to one. We know how this goes, man. Unreal. Right, right. So, Folks, the, talk. Well, first off, folks, this is how this works. Okay, the bottom line: Teddy's going to be coming out every Monday with the with the report. Um, you can get this report uh, at a discount right now for the month of July. 
And as you hit the subscribe button, you're going to put Teddy 25. That gets you 25% off uh, the report. Great report. Well, let's talk to Teddy right now about what is going to be in the report, Teddy. Okay, well, we're going to have the uh, major currency crosses highlighted every week. So that would be the euro, U.S. dollar, the pound, yen, the uh, Aussie, the New Zealand, and the Canada. So, And then we're also going to have the uh, dollar index, the 30-year, and also crude oil highlighted also because wow. they influence various uh, cur uh, forex currency pairs. This is just a great time, too, for folks to really understand currencies because of the fact that there's so much happening in the world. I mean, this is the first time that I've seen currencies, well, personally, to me, that almost before the euro was there. Do you know what I mean? I, I used to mm -hmm. do a lot of business in the UK years ago and I have to deal with the pound. And folks, you want to learn currencies because, cur <laughs> I mean, you know, currencies go up five or 10%. That is your wealth either going up or going down when you're in the, those countries, okay? So it's pretty intense, man. And Absolutely. you've given us such a great education as to um, how a currency and the interest rate affect all of us, right, every day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, if they impact all markets without a doubt. Every market's a function of some currency no matter what. Yeah, isn't that wild, man? That's And so when you were at the CBOE, were you, were you trading currencies or trading options? What were you trading uh, Well, I started at the CBOE when I was at the CME. That's when I started trading currencies. Right. I was in the S&Ps for over 20 years. Okay. And uh, that's where I really started to learn currencies because I was trading bonds initially. Yep. And then I was starting to see the correlations between those markets and then see how they started to influence it. And one of the things I noticed, too, is that a lot of the older guys, they traded spreads, so they learned those correlations. And most of the, this, the, the individual pit traders or individual market traders, they never cared about those things. So it was a good way to actually not get caught with your pants down when you have a lot of really good moves and catch a lot of good trends that way, too. Now, what Teddy just explained, folks, is, remember this program's archived. I want you to go through what, go listen to that again. Because there's no doubt, Teddy, <laughs> What happens, folks, when you're around for a while, you try to go somewhere <laughs> where there's not a lot of um, pushing and pulling, right? And that's what you're saying, which is really cool. Now, I, mm -hmm. I'm with you there, man. I, at, at one point in my career, I, all I did is trade South African equities because no one liked them. <laughs> but right. there's plenty of you know, ETFs over here. And the bottom line, mm -hmm. of course, you know, South Africa's already trading. So pretty cool, man. And in, right. in the aspect, you know, you had one of the first guys, bottom line, when oil was at 35, saying, okay, 45, we're going to 100, right? I mean, yeah. you know. So Everyone's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> seriously, man. <laughs> so the first day I heard that on the air, I said, okay, this is going to be a trip. Uh, so what are you thinking about the oil market now? Where are we at in that whole thing? Uh, well, a very nice little consolidation. <clears throat> I like the fact that it's a little higher today. I think it's going to be... Basically playing with resistance. I mean, there's there's no real reason to see why we would have any real slide in the oil market. Um, now, I would use caution with most people. Don't think that just because oil is even stabilizing right now, the gas prices are staying down. Right. Because that's a whole other issue. Right. You know? So oil and gasoline, especially now since we're no long, now now that we are actually importing gasoline because of our refining issues. If they pump it, don't worry about the price of oil. It's the price of gas you have to worry about. But for crude oil still, I think it's going to be a bull, and I see it going to 150. I think no matter what, we're going to test the highs sometime before the end of July and into the beginning of August and probably make a run at 140 to 150 by the sometime in September. Yeah, because that last, so. last high on the continuous is 147. Mm -hmm. I know. There's no Especially doubt. Especially when rates go higher, too. If they continue to do three-quarter points for another one to two Fed meetings, the cost to carry out alone is going to help. Help drive the price of crude up. Interesting. Yeah, this is where you really get, you know, the real action. Well, folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter. You come over to our <laughs> website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front. The Tiger Forex Report by our man, Mr. Teddy Keg said. You hit subscribe. You fill that out. Don't forget to put in the Teddy 25. You have 25% right. discount, folks. And that discount is forever. Just so you know. Lock it's it like, in. Yeah, it's a, like a charter membership, folks. Teddy, this is so awesome, man. I, you know, thank you so much for, you know, you've been with us for a long time, man. You know, you're just so bright, man, and you know the market well, so thank well. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that working with you guys and putting this together. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good thing for everybody. Okay, man, we'll talk a bit. Thank you. Sounds good.
Exactly. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 132. You get the NASDAQ off 114, S&P's off 21. Uh, let's go to, I want to go to Meta for a second, Facebook. And just take a look at this. It, you, would you want, you know, folks, we are going to see, um, this is going to get really intriguing. So they just start doing some commercials. And I'm telling you, the commercials are really impressive, folks, okay? And what it is, now Meta has a high volume low, so my take is that's going to go back to that 154. But this is what it's about. Meta has commercials on right now, and what they have the commercials on as is this. They, they talk about what you're going to be able to do in the Meta universe, right? And what they talk about, folks, what they show is that they show folks, they show surgeons, okay, cutting brains up, practicing inside the Meta universe. They show, what's the other one? So they're showing these, they're not going after, well, but let's put it this way. On the game, on the TV, they're not going after, you know, the gaming and all of that. What they're going after, if you've seen that they're going after explaining that this is going to change medical, it's going to change anything that has to do that you have to practice something first, which could be NASA, which could be engineering. Um, the commercial is impressive. <laughs> I can tell you that. It's, um, it was something that I, I did not 
uh, consider at all because looking at the meta universe, you know, bottom line, I consider the, the fact that, okay, this is going to be like another Facebook, and I suspect it is, by the way, okay? But I'm just saying that um, Facebook may be a stock you want to start looking at. Uh, and it's not ready yet. But when you see that commercial, you see what I'm talking about. Because, um, you know, bottom line is that, yeah, you got enough people into Facebook. I can see running those ads is going to get enough people into this metaverse um, in a way that, you know, is not legit. But the bottom line is that, uh, you know, he's not legit, period. So, always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah, we'll get him, folks.